Hey it's Angie, I'm coming on today just with um, a few bits and bobs that I've bought probably in the last three four weeks or so. Um, quite most of it was probably like online um, and I was just waiting for the final couple of things to come because um, they got a bit held up and they came today so I just thought I'd come on and show you. Um, hope everybody's doing well. I'm trying not to go out unless I need to and um, we're just going shopping once a week to Costco which is great because it's really big and roomy and they're limiting the amount of people that can go in and wiping all the trolleys down and everything so I don't feel like I've got crowds of people around me um, and I'm just going to the local shop once a week to top up on bread, um, top my meters up and go to the post office. It's all in the same place so that's good. So anyway on with the haul picked this up at actually the local cost cutter um last week i think it was yeah i'm pretty sure it was like early last week um crafts beautiful and usually when i buy a magazine i buy it for the gift um but there are actually some um quite interesting articles that i've been reading in there so i'm still keeping hold of this magazine so i really liked the gift in this one it's a Dovecraft shaker card kit and you actually get everything to make three shaker cards um, and you get that die there which is flowers and leaves you probably can't really see it very easily and you get a B stamp and a sentiment that says I'm trying to think what it was hold on you're so sweet which is very lovely um then you get um three cards so well i'll show you on the side here you get the two stamps um the b and the sentiment the die which says the flowers and the leaves 128 letter tiles um some of them spell like whole words like um b mine like b e e um and others are just like single letters that you can cut out um, 17 die cuts all be themed 12 papers some are double-sided some are single um gives you an, an idea there there's like a very like a honey with the bees more bees the little honey pots really really nice papers three cards a big packet of sequins and three little acetate sheets so you've got the um acetate ready to go into your apertures and you've also got um you can just see there the shaped cardboard that actually gives you the shapes to cut out for your aperture so you've got you've literally got absolutely everything apart from i think tape that you need tape and scissors to make your three cards um i think that's a really nice kit very sort of spring summer bright cheerful really nice thing to make while we're all on lockdown um then i bought some papers these i've had for all actually i've had this these few things for a while um i've just been sitting on them until everything else arrived i bought three paper pads from the same place on ebay this one is called eastern influences um six by six um, I sent Charlie um, a sheet of each of these because we're doing a boho swap and it's perfect for that. Oops. Um, I love the elephants. They're great. They can be cut out and made into embellishments. Love the colours. These are so me, so my sort of colours. Here I sent her a few things up the other day and I said I did send her a sheet of each of those. Then I am, I'm very much into, always have been into like metal, metallic look papers. So this is the metal textures. Again, double sided. I love the kickboard. These, I love these for die cutting particularly making embellishments with I think they're really nice I do do have some wood effect papers but I've nearly used them all now so that's why I bought myself another one 
then I love the patina effect. Now, this is the only thing with this one is it does they're like loose papers, but that's fine. So that's like the front sheet, and they're all like like rust and blue. And I, I absolutely love the, the blue, the tealy turquoisey blue. Um there's one with I can't do this one handed. There's one with like a text in it. Uh which is lovely. Just trying to find it. That one there, I think that's gorgeous with the text. So that's those. No, I can't pick them up. <laughs> Along that same sort of theme, I did buy the Rusty Patina paint, so you can like die cut, um, like kickboard. I've got cogs, gears, all that sort of thing. You can emboss them and then use that and some blue or black or whatever other colours to make your rusty look. So I thought I'd play about with that. Oh, one non-crafty thing. <laughs> I was so glad to get yeast. It's the small things at the minute. I actually managed to get two of these because I've been baking a lot of bread. I mean, we can still get bread, no problem. But, you know, while I'm off, it's nice to um, make some nice fresh rolls. I've got a lot of bread flour I managed to get. I did get three bags of bread flour, I must admit, just before we went down into lockdown, which I'm so glad I did because you can't get it anywhere now. Um, but I'd only got one... Um, like box of the sachets of yeast. I've managed to get some more now, so I sound well happy. Um, I'm really into background stamps at the minute. Now, these are from AliExpress, um, and I've had so many refunds from AliExpress dating back to January because they've just not been able to supply everything because when I ordered them, it was before they had coronavirus. Um, some of the orders went back to December. So I've had a lot of refunds. Um, in fact, I think I've had more back than I've actually had arrive at the minute. Um, and they're extending the, the dates on them all over the place. So, But they have all been shipped, which is good, because if they don't arrive, I can just get a refund on them straight away. So it's all a bit mad, but the refunds are going through really quickly. Anyway, these three background stamps I did get. I had another... I think it was five that I ordered in the sale and they all got cancelled because they couldn't supply them and I have got some more that are supposed to have been shipped so I've got this one with the beetles this one with um actually is that the wrong Oh, I thought it said something. It doesn't. It's just a couple of like random numbers, um, like little background bits of text and patterns and things. I like using those on backgrounds. And then this one, a bit like random stitching, random newsprint. Like a postcard, airmail. I like those so that's those and a couple of Tim Holtz books the sticker books I love his sticker books this one here is the new clippings book um, I think there might be another one out as well but I'm not sure um, now this there isn't really a theme as such it is quite general but it's kind of a little bit if I had to give it a theme I'd say see, see a few of the words there sort of dreamy love theatrical um I'm not going to start reading them all out but I'll just show you a few
That Learning to Fly, I think that one goes in every single one of his books. So that's, I won't show you all of it, but you'll be bored, but you get an idea of that one. Or oh, if you wanted to see the title again, it's just, it's just that. Um, there is a code there and it is the 2020, the new one is 2020 uh, series. Then, oh, is this, I think this is, yeah, this is one of his 2020s as well. I've never had anything like this. I don't know if he's done anything like this before. But the ticket book and what I like about how it's been designed is you can take them out like from anywhere. You don't have to take the whole sheet out because they're all per each one is has got its like own individual per perforations and these are perspirations then. So all different types of um, tickets and they're on like a craft card so you can ink them, stamp them, colour them if you wanted to. Lots and lots of different types. Some bigger sort of tram tickets there. Some of these type. Um, more of these with like the dials and the numbers and all sorts on there so yeah a lot like I, I do like how they've been done they're all perforated individually so that's those and there's 104 104 tickets in there let's just straighten that down there we go um gives you a bit of an overview there and again that's the code if anybody wants it and it's called it's just called ticket book and again that's his new one that's come out in the 2020 range um then, sorry for the cream colour doesn't bother me but i know some people don't like it um i've ordered from this person before love me blue on the um oh what do you call it etsy etsy store um I didn't realise that she had uh, an actual like, online site as well. So I went on to order some of the um, trims. I absolutely love the sari silks and the, the Asian sort of fabrics. It's a great for tags. So I got the, I think this is the metallic one. I can't remember what I ordered now, it's been so long ago. I think this is the metallic set that I ordered. I nearly ordered the everyday set, but I changed my mind and I got that one. And then I got this one, which is the peacock peacock set. For obvious reasons, because they're just so my colours. Beautiful silk. All of the lovely sort of gold thread going through. So that's those. So they came today, as did this, and this is the new hunky dory. You know the free, the readers, not readers, um, subscriber offer. I actually went for instead of just getting the free one. I actually went for the next. Actually, I think I've got a couple of couple of sheets here that aren't this one. I just picked them back up out of my drawer. But the free members offer is are these. It's the um it's butterflies and birds absolutely gorgeous i wish i had that one the other day when my son had moved house and then i actually as i say i got the the bigger set which was 14.99 which includes the 9.99 freebie plus 14 sheets of the adorable scorable in the matte card stock that matches so that's all this here so it's all in the same colours I'm struggling to do this one handed sorry that's all in the same colours as the kit and then um, I don't know which ones came with it I think these ones came with the members offer I think I'm not sure 
um, and then I paid for the extra. So with it, with the the for the extra, you got the free gift, which you would have got anyway for free just for the postage. So I got the extra set of papers, the card, and the tag kit, which actually I have forgotten to get out. Because when I when I initially looked at it, I thought, how can that be? How can that be fourteen ninety nine? It just didn't seem a lot. I mean, it seemed a lot for what you got at first. So these are the actual cards, the card stock. Absolutely gorgeous. So then I actually looked at the prices of everything individually. And you are saving something like £3.25. And then somewhere, yeah is the what are they called oh which, which way i'll turn them around they keep coming out the wrong way the inserts you know the paper the thin paper inserts i always struggled to use these up until recently and um i find i can actually use them okay now the other thing i got as i say which i didn't get out my drawer um is it came with a tag pad um which He's literally tags, um, shaped tags, and it, all the different images match in with the images that are that are in the kit, and they're so pretty, so summery, and it's all birds and butterflies and flowers and leaves and things like that. So I was actually really pleased with it when I actually added it up, and that I did had saved money because at first I thought, hmm. So the tag tag pad was 7 99 which i think is really expensive for that if i was buying that on its own um i think that's a lot of money for that anyway um i think that's it i think that's everything so um stay safe until next time bye